Hi guys. There's been a lot of questions about how to submit assignments and I know there were some practice assignments in that jumpstart lesson. However, if you have not completed that, here's a quick rundown for you. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay. So this is the student view for earth science. Um, you can do your lessons this way no matter which class you're in. So remember that the first thing you do when you log in is check for the announcements, look and see if there's anything new. Um, so if you have any announcements that are new to you, they'll have this little red dot next to it. So make sure you go through and look at all of those. This is our welcome. Um, some of you guys were having authorization issues, so this is how to fix that. Um, if you don't know what to do, where to start, watch this video that's in this announcement and it'll tell you how to work in Canvas um, and what to do each day with the modules. Um, basically, you're just gonna work your way through each module every day um, or each day's assignments. Um, attendance, this is gonna tell you um, how attendance is gonna be taken and our first Zoom would not let me open a meeting. That was a Zoom issue. Um, they're trying to work on that. We did go ahead and have it the next day. And then this is um, preferences for submitting homework. So if you check this announcement, um, it's preferred that you either use text entry or the Google Drive to complete homework submissions. Um, when using a Google Drive file, make sure that you set permissions either public or anyone on the internet with the link. If you restrict it to just the school district, it might not submit correctly and then I may not be able to see your work. Um, so your assignment won't get graded. So we don't want that. So make sure that you have your permissions set correctly for anyone with the link can view. Um, so what you're going to do is I'm just going to pick one of these assignments to submit. And let's go with this one. So when you open it up, you have the assignment information here um, with instructions and all of your problems and everything. And you see this blue button up here at the top where it says submit assignment. That's where you're going to click and it opens up this box down here. File upload. Please don't ever use file upload unless you're uploading a video file or a picture or something like that from a project. Um, if you have a presentation that you're gonna have to do and you're recording yourself giving the presentation, then you'll choose file upload. Otherwise, don't ever choose this option. Always either go to text entry and you can copy and paste your answers directly in here. Or if you did it in a Google Doc or a Google Sheet or something like that, you can go to Google Drive And this is the tab that you should be using most often if you do things as a Google Doc or any type of Google file. So it's going to ask you to submit your work, choose your Google Drive that you want to use, select a file, and then it's going to give you a list of your recents. You can search your drive, um, you can upload a file to your Google Drive, um, you can look in your shared drives. So you'll pick a file that you want to submit here. And I'm just going to, um, let's pick, let's go with lab safety. Um, this is not the answer document for this file, but I want to show you the process. So once you choose that file, um, it's going to attach it here and then you'll hit submit assignment. And it's processing your submission. You can safely navigate away. When you do this, um, it will then show up as a submitted assignment in the proper format. Um, you can resubmit the assignment. Um, you should have two attempts for anything to submit. So if something goes wrong and um, you want to edit it or adjust it, you can resubmit it. Um, you'll, get to, you'll get to have two attempts for it. Um, but once you submit it this way, then that goes to me and I'm able to see it and um, grade it. So that is how you submit an assignment. If you do not use that Google Drive option or the text entry option and you just upload a link, then I actually have to click the link and if I don't have permission, I can't see the assignment, I'm not able to grade it and you're gonna end up not getting points for it. So please follow directions and submit assignments using the text entry box or the Google Drive tab only.
hopefully that helps you guys and have a lovely day. Thanks.